All right, guys, here in the compound. Um, it's a Friday. Just got the heater going. Just sipping some pre-workout with some rebursts in it, some intra workout carbs. And uh, I'm about to make some quick executive decisions on uh, what I have time for in regards to a training session. But I wanted to bring you guys here to the compound in the garage here to uh, share with you some thoughts on how I piece together a training session for myself and uh, hopefully share with you some good tidbits on uh, how to get the best value for the time that you have in the gym, in the garage, wherever it is that you're throwing down to get the results that you're seeking. So let's go. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Let's chop it up a little bit. So I came out here and I spent about seven minutes warming up some general body weight stuff. Uh, you guys watched that and fast forward. Um my goal with my warm up every time is to be wise, right? There's many times in my athletic career where I've been short on time. And uh, if that's a place that I choose to skip out on my focus, I pay for it eventually. Uh, so that's my advice to you. Spend time warming up. If it's, if it's five less minutes, if it's 10 less minutes conditioning or weightlifting, it's better for you. Think long term, which is hard to do. So take my advice there. Say Adrian made me do it. You know, I. Hashtag Adrian made me do it. Um, start posting your warmups and your cool downs because that's the stuff that's gonna make you great. Um, so today, this session so far, conditioning wise, I've been out here for including my warm up. Um, let's see, four rounds, four minutes, 16, seven. We'll give myself a few extra minutes of a buffer. I've been out here for about 26 minutes. I did. Uh, it was, all right, so the session was, forgive me, two minute AMRAP, eight bar facing burpees vested with a 20 pound vest on, 24 double unders. AMRAP that in two minutes. Uh, I, did, I did three rounds the first time, I did three rounds the second time. Uh, two minutes rest in between each, so then, then I followed that up with another round, also vested. Um, then I stripped the vest off, still rested two minutes and then hit the same thing with no vest. The goal was to clearly do faster work and get more work done. And then I repeated it again. So I did four total bouts of two minutes on, two minutes off with eight bar facing burpees, 24 double unders. The first two rounds were vested. Great session. Um, now what I'm gonna do, since my average was, you know, those 72 double unders and 24 bar facing burpees, I'm gonna do one round, four time, with a vest on after I get plenty of rest. So this time it'll be about four minutes of total rest because I'm gonna try to almost be fully recovered. So I got about another 50 seconds here, so I gotta get off this. Um, <clears throat> 72 double unders, 24 bar facing burps. Time, one time through. Let's wrap up this conditioning piece. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep when you sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep when you sick. Keep making that money flip. All right, YouTube. That was a good session. Um, well, let's walk outside, cool down a little bit. I'll show you guys why I need the heater. Oh. Welcome to Utah. All right, so while I'm cooling down, what I'll say is that, um, let me catch my breath here. So the real goal today in the focus was for me to move fast with intensity. Um, it's hard to do that sometimes on your own. It's hard to do that in the winter when it's cold. It's hard to get warmed and prepped. So I picked some simple movements and uh, the goal was to move fast. And so, I got that done. The beautiful thing about practicing burpees this way, 
uh, is that under intensity, under stress, you have one gear, but then when it comes to just pacing uh, in a slower workout and basing it more off your aerobic capacity, it makes it easier. And I think this is one of the more overlooked aspects of training in our space is that people don't have gears and it's important for you to have gears. You gotta know when, you know, what's 10 out of 10 speed feel like? What movements does it feel like that with and how can you cycle them faster? Uh, and on the other end of the spectrum, what's two, two out of 10 feel like? When you're barely hanging on, you need to recover. What's four out of 10 feel like? And more importantly, in a traditional workout, what's, what's that seven or six to eight and a half or six to nine look like? And uh, you do it through sessions like this. Keep it simple, keep it effective. And the best way to make it effective is keep it intense. All right, back inside, a little warm, a little more cooled down from the workout at least, recovered. And now that my triceps are spent, my chest is a little blown up. I'm gonna go ahead and bang out 100 strict handstand push-ups, not for time, more so for quality. This is a particular weakness of mine. Um, so I visited a few times a week in different ways. Uh, and today will be one without intensity, uh, accumulating work. Essentially, I'm greasing a groove here. I'm getting some quality work done that will build my capacity without creating a ton of stress. I'll bang these out and then uh, I'll probably head inside, get the rest of my work day done. And uh, the beautiful part about this is tomorrow I'll come out here feel fresh um and i'll be ready to sling some barbells and maybe get moving a little bit more in regards to like a longer nastier traditional metcon or chipper so it's a great way to sprinkle in the variance remember keep the intensity intense and make sure that you have intention behind your training what up guys so we're back out here in the compound this is day two of this weekend's training um, the reason I got the camera out here today and wanted to capture this session is to show a little bit of the contrast between what I'll get out here and do today and what I did yesterday. Yesterday, you guys were watching and it was a lot of metabolic conditioning, short intervals, explosive, fast. Um, and, then, and then, of course, I, I winded down with a couple of the things, but uh, the, the truth of the matter is I just wanted to get out here by the, seam of the, you know, the fly of my pants and uh, just kind of roll with the session. Uh, to, to paint some things and then cover some things as I wrap up just to uh, again show the contrast of two back-to-back -back days for me training and what I'm working on maybe give you some ideas or give you some context on like how to make these choices for yourself so I'm in the garage it's before nap time I get to drop some weights a little bit so I'm certainly gonna pick some loading in order to do that and of course yesterday we didn't really touch any weights no barbells were involved so um, today I'm gonna use some external loading I'm gonna get going uh, get a quick warm up in. I might use one of the small workouts that was a piece of Rise 45 this week uh, for the 45 day challenge that we're doing with FNX. Um, as one of my prep pieces, it involves like some arm only assault bike with some light hang, uh, I believe hang snatch, hang power snatch, or maybe even hang muscle snatch for me uh, as I get the engine rolling and some evil wheels. So those are three movements contextually that uh, don't create a lot of wear and tear, can help my shoulders get warmed up, but aren't really. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look to just like suffer too bad through that portion So I'll probably use that as a secondary piece of my general warm-up um, And then we'll see what kind of slanging and banging we want to do today with the barbells and uh, potentially some interval work. So Here we go When my friends go, it was simple When the ends low, switch the tempo I got right, I got heart, I don't die, I'm a fight I go down, then I strike I go hard day and night, yeah I go hard day and night Wonder why, no surprise See the hate in their right. eyes Still catching my breath from that um, A bit more metabolic than I anticipated Which is good Can always use the extra breathing uh, But I'll spend the next 3 or 4 minutes recovering I'll be good to go Ready to decide what lifting we're going to get done today Because, so the workout was as follows It was a 12 minute AMRAP Of uh, 6 calories Arm only assault bike, eight Evo wheels, and I literally have one of those old school wheels, like a small little one, so I don't have to use a barbell. Into 12 muscle snatch at just 65 pounds. So, you know, the beauty here is that I didn't really need to warm up and prep too much other than my general warm up with body weight stuff. Did some hanging in the warm up too, so my shoulders were pretty prepped. But I literally got the bike out, did, you know, a few overhead squats and a few muscle snatches with the empty bar, loaded the bar, put the clips on. Set the evil wheel out and I got to work. So I think I ended up doing, I was into my ninth round. So it's a good bit of contractions, a lot of muscle snatches. Uh, yeah, I wanna say I was, I was holding like a 130 type per round pace. So 
maybe round eight. I could have miscounted. I wasn't keeping particular close attention. I was just trying to get that next round done every time. Next round, next movement, next round, next movement. Tighten up transitions just to practice good habits. And now I'm plenty warm. I'm dripping sweat everywhere already. Probably could have kept, took the sweatshirt off for that one in the hat. But I like to get the blood flowing that way and I like to, uh, I like to be hot when I'm training. So I got this heater in this garage, so I sweat a lot, but then I don't immediately get cold once I start sweating. So the engine's roaring. Let's, uh, let's get some work done. Strike, I go hard day and night. All right, guys. <clears throat> Great session. So there was a lot there. Uh, I got into... Sorry, I saw my music going. Um, I got to a lot more than actually I thought I would. Um, warming up with that Metcon, quote unquote, I think really got the got the juices flowing and got me kind of rolling. So what I did today was, we talked about the Metcon already. It was a 12 minute AMRAP. It was super easy, low hanging fruit in regards to get the engine going, warm up the shoulders and uh, get a little out of breath and sweaty. It was a great way to work on my transitions and, and get that going. Then I built up to a snatch complex. So it was one uh, snatch pull from the floor, one high snatch pull uh, from the floor into one squat snatch. And I ended up building up to 225. I did a few reps at 225. Then I decided, um, since, since lately I've been weighing in a, a little bit lighter, I'm, so I'm 199 and uh, I wanted to see how cycling 225 would be. And not like uh, necessarily for time, but in a workout for time. So. I did, uh, I did six bar muscle ups and two squat snatches. Uh, and I ended up doing five rounds essentially for time. It ended up taking me about 6.33, somewhere in that window, um, or, or just under 6.30 is what the time ended up being. So it was a, it was a good workout. Um, and I just wanted to see how I would respond to doing some gymnastics and then squat snatching a weight like 225 and what my confidence felt like. And it felt pretty good, uh, especially to, you know, uh, considering that like in this garage, I'm on a little bit of a, uh, of like a, you know, a, a, a decline to a degree. I faced the camera this way. So I faced away from the rig. And of course it's a bit of a, a bit of a decline anyways. Um, so after I did that, then I ended up building up to a relatively heavy double overhead squat. I finished at 295, went up to 305 and hit a single. Uh, just wasn't there today. Shoulders are a little tired, legs are a little fatigued. I think the lighter body weight makes me feel a little bit of those heavier loads a little bit more. Um, and then I, uh, forgive me for this camera, it's, it's, it's not synced up the way I want it to be. Um, after those overhead squats, I, uh, I ended up doing some snatch grip deadlifts and some, uh, some core work. I call them squirms kind of like focused on the lateral portion of the core, the obliques a little bit more. We, we rarely do side to side and uh, side based movements um, in CrossFit. Usually it's all up and down and sitting up. So I wanted to focus a little bit on that. And all I did, all I'm working on is essentially, you know, I got long arms and I got long legs. So when I pull a snatch off the floor, I have to make the bar travel quite a bit further than I do just to stand to an open hip for a deadlift. So I have to switch up that grip and train that grip more often in order to sure up a weakness of mine because of how much longer that bar is in my hands and how much further it has to travel before I can actually make it float, right? Before I reach that top end of my pull. So uh, I just threw in basically two sets of 15 uh, at the end with two sets of a large chunk of those squirms with 100 reps each. So today was a great session. I'll check the whoop data and see what, see what it was presenting to me. But um, yeah, built up to some good snatch complex work. Uh, got some gymnastics thrown in there, got out of breath, got sweaty, and I got to drop some weights, which is always freeing when you're at the, uh, the compound because usually most of our fitness takes place during nap time. So now it is nap time and I got to go put the littles down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. What I wanted to show was the contrast to, in a day of training, uh, two days back to back where I focused more on conditioning, no weight involved, low hanging fruit, hardly any warm up, and got after it for a while yesterday. Came in here today, spent more time warming up but got, got sweaty and out of breath with the Metcon. And then I focused the rest of my training on external loads, specifically around the specific movements that will help build up and continue to trend my snatch in an upward direction. So make those kind of choices. Each day should look different than the last. Don't mimic and don't do the same movements back to back. Um, and that's gonna keep you fresh and keep training exciting. Keep training hard. Check. The girls in my mouth double as a breeze, but the girls in my mouth double as a breeze, but